It is not uncommon for them to throw you a scenario like this and ask you, what's the velocity graph? So you kind of have to imagine you are the ball rolling up the surface, frictionless surface, flat, and then go down. There are a few ways to do this, and I will show you both in this video. So frictionless means there's going to be no lost energy. So speaking of energy, that's the first method. You see, you start off with some kinetic energy at P. As you go to the top, I assume it's still moving, so you have some kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy. Because you have gone up, you are a bit slower up there, but you still have some kinetic energy. Then, at the end, you go down to S. Are you at the same height from the beginning? Yeah. So that means your final kinetic energy should be the same as when you were at P. Because you go up the same height, okay, this height, you come down the same height. So it should be the same kinetic energy, no energy loss. So that's the first thing. Kinetic energy must be the same, means the velocity have to be the same from what was in the beginning. So V initial, V final must be the same. Oh, okay, okay. That is a clue. So now we go to the graphs. Okay, the energy method, I'll talk about the other method too. So, um, let's see. Let's check the start and the end points. Among all these graphs, you should have the same velocity at the start and the end. So let's see, let's check out A. You start off at this velocity, decrease, okay, and it comes back to the same height. Oh, that's fine. Okay. B, mm, you start off high, but you end up a bit lower. I mean, this might be true if you have some energy loss, but I don't think B is correct because start and end points got problem, maybe. This one, you start off with low energy, you end up with higher energy. Wow, what is this? No, I don't think it's correct. So you start low and high also not correct. So I guess you can already know the answer is A from this idea of energy must be conserved. So you start off with some velocity, you should end up with the same velocity. Because you are still moving horizontally. Here, the ball is moving horizontally. At the end, it's still horizontal, so same velocity. Now, the second method, which you also should know how to do, is to think about how the velocity is changing as you go along, well, the slope. Let me zoom in a bit more and write in a different color for you. So you start off with some velocity going here. As you go up, are you slowing down or getting faster? Slowing down, okay? So you are slowing down at a certain rate. Okay, so the rates where you slow down will be acceleration. Because although you're moving up, you are actually accelerating downwards. Also, aka deceleration. If V is pointing up, A pointing down, opposite direction means you are slowing down. So when you reach the top, are you having a change in velocity? No, I mean, it's just a flat road. So V here is constant. Because there's no acceleration. Oh, I should write acceleration in purple. No acceleration around the slope, okay? Then you are uh, flat for a certain period. Then you come to the end, you are going downhill. Are you getting faster or are you getting slower? Imagine yourself rolling downhill. Imagine this ball rolling downhill. So you are rolling down with a certain velocity that is increasing. Or I should say, in the layman term, getting faster. So V getting faster. Why is it getting faster? Where is your acceleration pointing? Acceleration down a slope. You are accelerating down a slope because gravitational force is pulling you down. So you actually have an acceleration downwards. You see A and V is pointing in the same direction. That means you are getting faster. So we're getting faster. Lo. But I want you to compare. Never mind. Slow down, get faster. Okay, okay. We, lose, we use that to narrow down first. So you are slowing down, getting faster, slowing down, getting faster, slowing down, getting faster. The only problematic one is this one. Why are you getting faster and faster? No slow down on me. So what's wrong with this graph? We should You should do this for all your MCQs. This one, you are only getting faster. Wrong. Incorrect. Uh, B, is anything wrong with that? It's slowing down, getting faster. But hang on a second. This part should be constant. Because at the top of the slope, you are just traveling on a straight horizontal surface. You should not have any change in velocity. 
So this part is wrong for this graph. Now how about C? So we're not getting faster. Okay, uh, it matches the thing. So if you use this method, you are down to A and C. But notice the gradient here is not so steep. Here very steep, but go very high. Here not so steep, here very steep. What's the difference? Uh? Frankly speaking, A and C are the same, except that here they have an extra section. Why, why do you go to a faster velocity? I don't know. I mean, here the slope is okay, yeah, lower acceleration, so the, the slope is not as steep. Then here on the right side, you should have a very steep slope, so that makes sense. But it will take you a shorter time to go down there. Let me repeat. To go from P to Q here, you will need a certain time. Then you want to go down a slope to change velocity from zero to whatever. This time is much shorter. So if you look at this, hmm. Firstly, why 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 do we have such a big slope here and keep going some more? Once you reach the initial velocity, you're done. So this extra part is the one that's boogie. This part. Something funny here. Why do you why is your velocity faster than the initial? Okay? So make sure you know how to do both methods. And this is kind of generally true for almost all scenarios where you have to do a graph. You can use energy. Friction, no friction, it's the same. Or you could use your kinematics to understand what is happening here. Alright, so that's the end of this question. Ball rolling up and down a frictionless surface.